the ASM membership dashboard. In this lesson I'm going to walk you through all the areas inside the ASM dashboard to show you exactly how to get the best out of it. Your membership dashboard is the hub of everything you do in ASM. It contains the video player where you can watch all the lessons and it also has the links to the community, private vault, your profile and badges, support and two very special tools we use. The community. Now this is a brand new area we have just created. It is focused 100% on helping you get moving as fast as possible. It has categories focused on each module as they open to make it easier for you to get specific help. Now we will cover the community in full in the next lesson. The private vault contains a range of tools and services we recommend. All these tools and services are used by ourselves or other successful members in their Amazon business. We continually add services and tools to the vault and you can help too. If you are using a specific tool or service and you are getting great results from it, then by all means private message me inside the community and tell me what the tool or service is and the results you've got with it and we'll take a look. The ASM Sellers Facebook Group You will gain access to the Facebook Group in Module 5. It is an additional community area and it contains your fellow members from previous classes. However, it also contains content that is not applicable to the earlier stages of your business. Now this is invaluable in the later stages of your business, but can confuse earlier on, which is why we created the community to give you extra help during the initial stages of your business. So let's go log into our dashboard. Okay, so here we are inside your ASM dashboard. Now the first thing you want to do is update your profile. To do that, we're just going to come up here. You can see the image in the top right. You just want to click on the down arrow next to that image. If you haven't uploaded a picture yet, it will just be an icon. And then click on account. Now the info page is not particularly critical. It just pulls in information from when you signed up for ASM. But I am going to scroll down. And you can go ahead and fill in the address, city, state, zip code, country, and even phone number if you wish, and then just click update information. I'm going to go back to the top. The tab we're most interested in is this one, profile. I'm going to click on it. Now, to earn your profile badge, you need to fill in your bio, you need to add a location, and you need to upload an image. Now, if you haven't already uploaded an image, this will be blank, but I'm going to show you how to upload the image. You just want to click on change, and then choose the file, that you want to use for your picture. Images that are roughly square work the best and you can see it's up to a maximum of two megabytes. But I'm gonna click on choose file, find my image and double click on it. And you're gonna get this pop-up. Now, if you see the highlighted circle here, that is actually what is going to appear on your profile. And you can move it around by left clicking anywhere in the image and then just dragging the box around till you get what you want. So I'm happy with this. And you can actually just use your face image if you use a big profile picture, for instance. But I'm happy with this. I'm going to click set as avatar. And that has set up the image. So that's the first step you need to do. The next one is your bio. Now in the profile tab, everything here will appear on your public profile. The info tab we looked at first, your address information, phone information, all that information will not appear in your public profile. It's just for our own internal use. But on the profile tab, we need to fill out our bio. And you just want to make this some basic information about yourself, what you've been doing before. But really importantly, it's just about you. And do not try and use any URLs or links. If you run a service, please do not include that in your bio. This bio is about getting to know other members and not about selling them service. We do not allow that. I'm going to paste in an example profile. And you can see it's just nice and simple. Now, you can put more than this by all means. For instance, if you've got three or four children, you want to say their names, that's great. Any information you want to give about yourself is fine. Now, this is obviously a fake profile. I'm using it for my fake account that I created to create the training. But I just talked about the job I'm doing right now, my family, and what I want from this business. So you can use as little as two or three sentences, or you can write two or three paragraphs. It's completely up to you. But the next important box is your location. Now, this just needs to be a city or country. It's completely up to you. Now, in my case, I'm just going to put Austin, USA. So just put your city or your country or both into location. There's no need for an address. There's no need for your state, zip code, any of that things. It's just your location, so the city you live in. Now, once you've filled in all those boxes, you can go ahead and save it. But there's more information you can fill in if you wish, like Facebook URL, Twitter URL, LinkedIn, website, 
all of these you can fill in if you wish I'm gonna leave them blank for now and I'm just gonna go with the image upload my bio and my location and I'm gonna click update profile and you'll see your profile was successfully updated so that's step one I've completed my profile setup now in this top right before we go any further I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I just want to show you two more things quickly. First of all, my badges. Now, there's an entire lesson on badges coming up, but I just wanted to show you how you found it. And you should have your bet and yourself badge in gold already because that's an automatic badge for you. But I'm going to move on. As I said, we've got an entire lesson on badges. I just want to click on this last one, support FAQ. Now, this is going to open a new tab and it's got some frequently asked questions to do with technical support, which you can click on and open up and look at. And you can also submit a ticket to support by clicking on this button. Now, it's very important. If you select to send a ticket or an email or chat with customer support, that is just for technical issues with your membership. Anything to do with the course, any questions about this business, you should ask in the community and not create a ticket. Our customer service team are absolutely fantastic, but they're not there to support questions about the course itself. So I'm gonna close that tab. I'm just gonna click on the logo to go back to the main dashboard. Now I'm gonna leave the player till last. The next thing to look at is the calendar. Now the calendar shows you important dates that are upcoming in that month. And you can also jump to the next month and see more important dates. The solid green is just today's date, but all events, Weekly calls, anything to do with your SM membership will be on this calendar. For instance, if we look at the 27th and click on it, you can see access to module, module one unlocks. That means on the 27th, you can see here at 9 a.m. Central, module one will become available. Now all the modules are dripped out on a weekly basis. Over the years, we've discovered this gets the best results for our members. So if you've just signed up and just logged in, the only module you will have access to right now is the welcome module. And then on the 27th, when the course starts in earnest, you'll be able to access module one. We will also have the weekly calls on the calendar. They occur on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Central. And speaking of weekly call, I'm gonna go up to the top here and click on the weekly call button. Now the weekly call itself will appear inside this box where it says coming soon and you'll be able to maximize it if you wish. And I just wanna point out underneath, this is where you ask questions. When the call goes live, this box will become white and you'll be able to type in it. And all you would do is type in your question or comment and hit the comment button. Mike and I will be answering questions live on these calls and we'll also have two or three mentors in the background answering questions too. This is an effort to try and get all your questions answered. And we'll also be adding little tips and tricks to do with the training for that week. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard again and you can click on dashboard. I just find it easier just to click on the logo. And we're just gonna look at a couple of more things before we go to the player. So I'm gonna scroll down. First of all, top badge earners. You can reverse this by clicking this button here and it will show you the latest badges. Now this is a really cool way of seeing what everyone's up to. Now these badges apply to all of ASM, so it's not just newcomers, but for top badge earners, it just means that anyone who's earned a revenue badge recently will show up here. And if I was to reverse this, it will be all the latest badges. Next on the right, you'll see the private resource vault. Now, as I've mentioned before, the private resource vault is where we keep all our recommended tools and services for you guys to look at. And the appearance may change slightly, but I'm gonna click on this link to show you. Now, by default, you're gonna land on the module resources. If I scroll down, you can see it's got all the modules here. Now, there are two different types of module resources. The first is the training guide. Virtually every lesson will have its own training guide, and it's a PDF version of the high points of each lesson. And also, if there is a particular download, for instance, you're going to see a download for our recommended BSR ranges, then that will be included here too. Now you can download all of these beneath the player and I'll be showing you that shortly, but this is just a place you can come and see them all in one place. To check them out, I would just click on the welcome module. Now these haven't been added yet, so there's nothing here to see, but basically there'll be links underneath for all the resources for the welcome module. Now, if I scroll back up, you can see resource links. So I'm gonna click on that tab. This page is still currently under design, hence the missing icons. It's nothing to worry about, but essentially it'll be the same thing. All you would do is click on one of these and it will show you our recommended resources. For instance, if I clicked on autoresponder, you can see that we recommend Aweber, constant contact and get response. Now for some of these tools, we do have special deals and discounts just for our members. And in that situation, you will see it alongside the name and link. So it would say Aweber, give a description of what the offer is, 
and how to get it. So that's the private vault. And remember, all of the tools and services inside the private vault are ones we personally recommend. But let's go back. I'm going to scroll down. Now, the next one is Jungle Scout. Now, until Module 1 opens, this offer will not be available. It doesn't become available until Module 1 actually opens because you literally don't need it until then because Module 1 has all the training. So wait until you get to a specific lesson where I tell you we're going to be using Jungle Scout and how to use it and then go and sign up. Essentially, you're going to be getting five weeks free of the pro version of the Jungle Scout Chrome app. When we get to that point, you just click on Jungle Scout and we've got the tab blocked. It's coming in module one, but this will say sign up and you just click on it. And it's a free 45 day trial. Lastly, we're going to manage by stats. Again, this is something that comes up in later module. You can sign up for it whenever you wish. However, you get six months free of this and you won't need it until you've actually got inventory at Amazon. So if you sign up for it now, you're just going to be wasting some of your free offer. The person who actually created Managed by Stats is actually a fellow member of yours, Philip Jepson. And as a way of giving back to the ASM community, he made this offer available. So you get six months free to use it. So I'm going to scroll back up and I've just got two more things quickly to mention. First, the top, you see we've got the Facebook icon. This will take you to the ASM Facebook page, but you are not going to be getting access to this page. It's private and locked. You will not be getting access until week five. And then the one next to it with the three people icon, that is a link to the community. And that's a brand new thing we've just created to help focus all our attention and help on the beginning of the course for you guys. So it's incredibly important and I'll be walking you through the community in the next lesson. But finally, let's go to the player. Now you can access it by clicking on start course or just by clicking on the lesson player at the top. So I'm going to click on start course and here's our player. Now, first of all, on the left hand side, you can see I can close this. The welcome module, it's showing you all the lessons in the welcome module and then We've got all the other modules and again, they're grayed out because they're not available yet. Now I'm going to quickly show you how the player works. Now, if you see this sort of ivory, I'm not even sure what color it is, but we're going to call it ivory for now. This ivory bar that shows you which lesson you're watching at the current time. And to get it to play, I'm just going to click on welcome to your future. You will recognize the music or you certainly will by the end of the course. And I've hit the pause button. So obviously you don't want to listen to the music. I'm going to walk through all these tabs at the bottom. And I've actually noticed that the need help bar is actually stuck over the top of the player controls. And that will be fixed by the time you see this. But I'm quickly going to show you because this appears everywhere inside the ASM dashboard. And it's another way of getting technical support. Again, this is just technical support. It's not for questions about the course. And all you would do is click on it, put in your name and email, click the tick box, and then a box will appear for you to type in your question or query. Now, as I said, this shouldn't be in this particular position when you get to this course because it does block out one of the buttons. But let's go quickly go through them. The first one, this rewind button, you can see rewind 15 seconds. If you're watching a technical video and you missed something and you weren't quite sure what it said, you can just hit this button and the video will go back 15 seconds and continue playing. So that's a very useful tool. HD applies to the quality of the video. If we click on it. Now this player is pretty smart. It will figure out what kind of speed you've got on your internet service and it will allocate the best one for it. However, if you want to try and click on a higher quality one, you can. Just bear in mind, if your connection's not fantastic and you go to high definition, then the video might pause occasionally to allow buffering of the next bit of content. Me personally, I've always left it at auto and I think it does a great job. So to get rid of that tab, I'm just going to click on HD again. Now the next one is speed playback. I'm going to click on it. You can see you've got all different ranges of speed here. You can go to double speed, one and a half, one and a quarter, or you can even slow it down if we're talking too fast for you. Now, if you're going to jump up to one and a half and two times the speed, I would highly recommend that you only do that if you're watching a lesson for the second time. So I highly recommend you stick to single speed, in other words, normal speed, the default speed, to start with. So I'm going to click on it again to remove that. Now this is where you can download your resources. You can see it comes up and says documents. Now this particular lesson does not have any documents associated with it, but all you would do is click on documents, pop up will appear, you choose your language and then click on the file to download them. The next button is a mute. If you ever want to just mute the player, I'm just going to play a little bit of the music to show you. And you just hit mute and it mutes the video. 
I'm going to pause that now. The next box is actually subtitles. Now the ASM course will have subtitles in Spanish and Romanian. So if you want to have subtitles, all you need to do is click on the CC box. Again, a pop-up will appear just like the other ones with an option to choose a language for your subtitles. Next, full screen, self-explanatory. If I hit that, the entire screen is taken up with the video. Highly recommend you do this for any kind of technical on-screen video. To get out of it, you just need to push the escape key. And finally, the one that's almost hidden, it's actually the community icon. Now, the great thing about this community icon is whatever lesson you're on it will automatically take you if you click on this button it will open a new tab it will automatically take you to the correct place to look for an answer or to ask a question in other words if you were in module 2 watching a lesson and you clicked on this it will take you direct to the module 2 category inside the community now the last feature I want to show you I'm just going to click halfway through the video to move the green bar along is the bookmarks. Now, if you were a particular part of a lesson that was something you really wanted to remember, then you can use the bookmark feature to do this. So if I was at this point here, all I need to do is click on bookmarks, click add new bookmark, and there you can see welcome module, then the title of the lesson and the timestamp. So you know exactly where it is. To go to this point, if I go jump back again, you can see it's put the bookmark in there. But if I click on the bookmark, it jumps straight to that point. This is incredibly valuable, especially when you get into the last four or five lessons of module one, because that can get a little bit more technical and there's things you might want to remember. So the bookmarks is a perfect feature. To go back to your dashboard, all you need to do is click on the left arrow and you're back where you started. So that is your dashboard in a nutshell. So what is next? Well, now you know how the membership works and how to access all the components. In the next lesson, you are going to learn about the brand new ASM community and how to get the most out of it. Your action step, go take a look inside and become familiar with the membership dashboard. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.